P3's Kirby is also a massive killer. It's, it's like not one of like so the things that you think about, but like KD3 has a ton of experience playing Minio, playing Finio, yeah. just like playing with like a bunch of people in Pennsylvania. Yeah, exactly. I mean, and then there's Koro, who's just been like the old timer. You know, he's been playing forever, so he has you know experience playing like Cobra and stuff. Yeah. I, I mean, granted, you know, playing against people isn't that much of experience, but like you know. They're both very solid players. And I expect them both to be educated in this matchup, too, because... Oh, yeah. Because um, KD3, you know, he's from Pennsylvania, or in his region, he has himself and he has Hammerheart that Two, are, like, you know, both very good players, like... And very good Samus players. Mm. And meanwhile, like, Koro, I'm just sure... Uh, he's got Horby. He's got to have a lot of practice, you know? Oh, absolutely. But, like, also, what you have to... We also kind of have to be aware of is that KD3 is more of like the rising star at this point. Yeah. You know, Koro's like like the old school like you know, gr like grandpa type. You know, he he, he knows everyone. <laughs> he's been, he's friends with everyone. He knows what's up. He's been playing the game forever. Yeah. But then it's like you have KD3 who's been like recently like just on a tear the past mm. year, and it's like, and it's like you know is is the old timer going to be upset? Is are we going to have just like in you know the new uh, young blood Who coming knows? in take down Koro like first stock oh my God, or first dude. game because like. Especially in a crew battle where you have like twelve characters out, you know. Yeah. You have you're sending Kirby like first thing out because like that's not that might not be the safest thing, especially in the context of a crew battle. Yeah. Because it's like you know if Koro by you know if he, if he just goes around and, like four stocks KD three like you know your you, Kirby's gone. And and uh, not only that but like well I think it's okay to lose whatever character you send out first. The thing is, you want to win the first match no matter yeah. what, because counter pick advantage is a real thing in crews and in a 12 character crew battle where you're going to have every counter pick available. You want to have a character, you don't care if your character's going to get counter picked. You want to make sure that you have the counter pick, you have the character lead so that way you're going to be counter picking their four stocks rather than like only counter picking their one stock. Yeah, that, no, that's absolutely true. Cause, and then also, like, whoever wins first just d gets to dictate the pace of the crew battle. That was such a hype I know. grab. Oh, my God. Like, Koro, Koro got, like, those reads. And he's, like, forcing KD3 offstage with these bombs. Just, like, the Ooh. fear. Oh, my God. The dare. Yo, get wrecked. Oh, my God. And it's, like, Koro's actually doing, like, really weird spacing with these bombs. Like, yeah. I haven't seen that, like, before ever. Oh, I've seen it before. It's, it's so terrifying. Because every approach option that you think you have, it's it, it just gets shut down by this thing that's active forever. And then, the, like, that up B, just, yeah. like, he's, like, tacking on the damage onto KD3. Like, you know, there, it was a rough start for Koro, but, like, he's starting to bring it back. And, oh. Oh, that push-off was just kind of sad. And you could oh, tell he was, he was going for that down air, uh... The down air chain, but like Dude, that bomb. Those safe bombs. They the they bomb? make everything just like they make the neutral so much better for Samus. They're just giving Koro like they're they're just forcing KD3 oh, no. off of him, and it's forcing him. It's like forcing Koro to like just giving Koro all that space because then if KD3 yeah, goes in like he that, can't, yeah, he got the hit, but what did it matter? Uh, oh no, this is bad. Yeah, this, this is, is really bad. Oh, he uh -huh. got out of the situation. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. Oh, no kill. No all right, kill. all right. Samus, Samus is, is very, is very, very fat. She's gonna live forever, except very, for there. Very but. heavy and very uh, floaty. Yeah. But now, you know, Koro has to, you know, be aware of like, all right, I need to take as many stocks as possible now. Exactly. Like it's 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 less of you know, oh, who's going to win? It's more of how bad is KD3 going to win by? And that's ooh. That Yo, was KD3. Dirty. All right, so leading up that first game with a three stock, putting MVP or is K KD3 is KD3 is MVP. Yeah, put, putting MVP super far ahead. Yeah, but also what, what we have to be aware of is just the character select because you know, sure, Koro lost, but like lost with Samus. Yeah, and so you know, uh, New York has like you know a solid eleven other characters. Yeah, and the thing is, oh no. We got the dark gentleman. Uh, we're, he is coming in. We're gonna get the floaties. Mm. Everybody, everybody, ready for for counting jumps? Everybody, count with me. One, two, three, four, five. All right, that's a dead Kirby. Mm. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna be doing this this game. So, 
Watch out for that. It's like in this matchup, uh, it's, it's everybody at long. home, I'm sure everybody oh, knows man. by this point, especially if they watch the earlier stuff, you cannot um, – shoot, now I forgot my train of thought. It, it's like You cannot approach – or Kirby cannot approach anybody from below. Kirby's hitboxes above, above him are terrible in the air. On the ground, yeah. you have up tilt, but in the air, you have nothing. So watch out for Koro to try to, or Dark, Gen not Dark Gentleman to try to abuse that. Yeah, it's going to be a battle over that top platform. Yeah. And you have, so granted, KD3, you know, kind of newbie. And Dark Gentleman has also been on the tear recently. I think he re he recently, uh, well, uh, he was on the, um, the 64 league rankings for the first time. And like, you know, fairly conservatively placed, like kind of like towards the, the low end. But the thing is, like, he's also just been, like, also on a tear. Like, yeah. he's, been, he's, like, actually been, like, messing up New York. And with him as, like, the head the head TO of Nebulous, he has been, like, making, he has been making, like, power plays. He's, um, as some of you may know, the originator of the Waterfall Bracket Tournament. Wow. And so, um, the Dark Gent is... He, he, he's, he's got a good lead can... right now. Oh, my nice God. Nice forward smash, but not this a kill. Is the, this is the bait. Like, he's, he's oh. like, forcing oh. KD3 on the defensive so much. And it's, like, working so so great. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, nice, nice uh, teleports. Yeah. Dark Gentleman feeling himself. It's, like, he's, he's playing so aggressively for that top platform. It's, like, actually just... It's really interesting because it's, like, you know, he gets into those situations where it's, like, you know, they're just, like, you know, giving little air pokes. Yeah. But, like... But, oh they, no. but at the same time, it's like you expect kind of this matchup to be more slow, to be more, um, yeah, to be more deliberate. But it seems like they're like kind of sparring. They're yeah. kind of like actually they're, they're going at going it. in. Ooh, Ooh oh that no, DI this was is not, not enough. Oh and no. KD3 has taken six stocks and only lost two. He is. All right, listen, KD3 is like, no, he's definitely no slouch. Yeah. Um, and he is like kind of showing why, you know. Yeah. He, why he's going to be he wants to be ranked. Why he's probably going to be ranked. But Dude, he you know, is Dark so Gen good. Has, Dark Gen has to like, you know, nip him in the bud. He can't let this happen. He's gotta clean yeah. it up right now. Like, I don't know if Dark Gen Stem should go like bleeding. more aggressive or just like less aggressive. Because like I, it's it, it's just like it's it's yeah. just so hard. Like yeah. especially this matchup where it's just, you know, a very also, tough to play on both sides. KD three has been like Manage has been keeping above uh, Dark Gentleman the whole time. He's not had let Dark Gentleman have that height advantage once. Yeah, and oh, the down tilt is so brutal. Oh no! Sends out at such a low angle. He's used four jumps already, and, this and is, the fifth one oh gets him back. One, the, two. These oh, all these situations are just so good for for KD three because especially of oh. Kirby's down there is so powerful and kills Puff. And Puff has no no uh, vertical mobility at all, and it's like, and, and like if KD three gets you know a dare on onto Dark Gen uh, off stage, you know Dark Gen's d like doesn't that's over. Doesn't matter what percentage he's at, it's no, just it's, gonna finish him off. Mm. Oh, nice nair! Oh no! Oh this no! Is, I thought he was gonna nair. Oh there. no! Okay. Oh, going for the shield break. I know. That shield break on a Puff, and that's like an inst that is an, literally an insta kill. But oh no, Dark Gen dropping that, that opportunity. It's. Oh my God, dude! That, that, such that weave. good spacing from everybody, but KD3. Oh my God, getting the triple back here, the fence the quadruple, of, the fence of pain. Oh, oh. no! Eight the fence stocks? of pain. Eight stocks. Eight stocks. One man. Pennsylvania. I don't even know what to that, make of this right now. I I I I, 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 would, I wish I was from Pennsylvania right now because like that Pennsylvania room tonight wow. is going to be popping. I don't know, dude. They they are going to be doing shots. It's New like, York, New York like, is on his back foot now. They got to break out something special here. They do. It's it. They're gonna have to like go hard. Because, they already used uh, their Samus too. No, well, like, yeah, but like, so they're down Samus. They're down Jigglypuff. But you know that's okay. They're both kind of mid tier, low to mid tier characters. Right. But that that those are also two strong anti Kirby mm. characters, yeah. and they're gone already. It's like, what do you do now? Do you use, uh, do you use Donkey Kong? Do you use Pika? Do like, you want to use, you want to use Core? You want to use Kiro? Do you want to go in for the Kirby Ditto? Ugh. Like, you, you know, say KD3 has put New York into a very, very bad situation for character counterpicking. One, 
just with their with the and he's leading too. This is the first guy. Come on, a come on, Anus. But the thing is, you know, did MVP send out their anchor first? I mean, obviously no. They have Hammer Hurt. Yeah, I, mean, I, I love the dude. Yeah, but so like you know, their Samus is gonna be bopping. You know, oh, it's, it's so scary. It's gonna. This is gonna be hard because like, I mean, what else do they have? I mean, I would say Mario is like a decent. You know what? I actually would not be that surprised if they decided to throw in Fyro's Link. Because yeah. I think, I think, I think, uh, you know, people people would, would say, oh, it's such a huge tier difference. It's just, it's just unwinnable, right? But it doesn't, it's not actually that unwinnable. You you have great mm. combos and great and zoning, also, and Kirby doesn't have the best mobility. Especially if you just get Kirby in the air with one bomb. And then you get that you follow it up with either an up air and an uppy, and you know Kirby's gone. Yeah, like exactly. at high enough percent, like you know, GG, that's it. Yeah, e Enos in in, uh, in deep discussion right now. They yeah, can't afford to send in the wrong guy. It's, it's a tough, per it's a tough place to be in. Oh, they're sending in Horby. They're doing the ditto. Oh boy, this this could either go really good or really poorly. There, yeah. I don't think there's any in between at this point. They need to they need to take clean up these stocks and not lose any more. Oh no, wait, they're going both double blue. Like come on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Blue and red. Alright. Antipode. So I, I know oh, Horby is also man. very good. Um, he's also TOing this wonderful tournament. Yeah. Um he, he's also very solid. And he's also been like making strides recently. Um, his breakout his breakout tournament was Keystone. Oh yeah. That uh, you know, uh, and KD3 he, and got like third and or he's no, fourth half. He's been taking names ever since too. You yeah. Know? He's been playing it's, well ever, like at a lot of tournaments. I had to play him in tournament. It's terrifying. I know. And it's because like he just plays like so weirdly. It's like it's his Kirby is literally like nothing I've ever seen before. It has and, great fundamentals. And though. he's doing very well versus KD3 right here. And nice oh my God, that, that down air to, to just reaction. And Four, five. Oh, okay, oh. he ran out of. Oh no! Oh, the push off. Oh my Yo, god! Yo, get wrecked. KD three went for the down tilt out of shield, but that just it just didn't work out for him. And so now Horby's oh he's here up we go. One stock. He's he's looking to end this really quick. Oh, all right, all right. All right. Horby lost the stock. Oh, KD three bring, bringing KD 3s kill count up to nine. Yeah, Horby needs to end this as soon as possible. Like the the sooner KD three is gone. The better it is for uh, uh, the Metro New York, oh, nice Atlantis, there. Atlantic New York, North United States region. Oh, the detail. Oh, that's it. Let's go. That's it. All right. All right. Horby keeping his team in it. All right. Keeping his team in it. Losing, taking nine stocks, which is unbelievable. Yeah, exactly. Th that's like ridiculous. Th it's like ridiculous to me that like yeah. he's doing this. But I don't know. We'll see is what this, happens. Though. Is hammer, did they send in Hammerheart? Would they? Because like, you know, take out Horby, and you know that's that's a third of their character. That's a solid quarter of their characters gone. You know. I know, but at the same time, it's like. No, I think they. Oh think no, they are. Going. They yeah. are. Yeah, we it have, makes a lot of sense. We have the Samus Master himself, Cool Blade, 1992. What? <laughs> what is that? What? Is that his old name or yeah. something? Yeah. Cool Blade 1992. Cool Blade 1992. That's a pretty sick Making name. strides at here. <laughs> Hammerheart Horby. Oh my god. This is this 2017 is... November. November 4th. Let mark your calendars. The Antifa Super Soldiers are out beheading <laughs> small business owners and we have Hammerheart versus Horby here in Character Cruise. Oh, this is exciting. Oh my god. So we, we saw this matchup from the other side of uh, of um, what was it of KD three versus Koro. Yeah. But, um, apparently we are we are being told uh, uh, through information that Hammerheart actually taught Horby this matchup. Makes sense. So I we have Sensei versus Student going on, and uh, I'm there's I'm, not very many Samuses that actually could teach somebody this uh, matchup at a high level. Absolutely not. Like you think of like Samuses in in the like the New oh. York region. Oh. Oh, just six percent. Just six percent. Okay. And it's like the only Samus is near here. Maybe like uh, Wavebird in Connecticut, uh, Smash Jesus, who's a half. He's a half Samus main from yeah. uh, New York, New Jersey. And but yeah. either way, they're not in the same level as Hammerheart. Hammerheart Absolutely is a not. whole nother beast. He is oh, the way Hammerheart plays is just so 
not not only aggressive, but like he just restricts your options so well. And he's and so, so efficient too. He is, and so it's like you have to like watch out because especially Hammerheart, he's going for those oh, down air, th right. those down air platform traps, and he's like, and he is ending that stock so early. Like yeah, fifty five percent. Like, you know, if you if you just go back and you watch uh, Koro versus KD three. You, you know, you, you can see, you know, KD3 doing extremely well, and now it's like, you know. Th oh, this, shoot, that's now good. Horby is, is, is looking to end this. Okay. That was a really good mm. edge guard by Horby, just really efficient and practical. Oh, no. He went but up he too high. Get, I thought he was going to get the edge <gasps> hog, but instead. Oh, my God. What? What? Oh, the screw attack screws oh that up. Oh, my God. Pennsylvania, whose is this man? Oh, my God. Whose is this man indeed? Oh, no. Does he have no double jump? He didn't have a double jump, dude. Oh, no. This is Horby. a very bad situation for Horby. Horby. Dropping a little the, bit, dropping the edge oh guard and God. dropping a stock because of it. That that bomb Hammerheart placed was so useful because yeah. it just stops Horby from coming onto stage or from throwing out an aerial because then, you know, there, there, he, there goes his stock. Yeah, exactly. But like the thing is this, is, this match has been extremely dominant for Hammerheart all this oh, whole time. Oh, 25 damage. Oh, no. <laughs> Yo, the I suck. thought he was gonna. I thought he was gonna steal the power, but instead mm. he puts him off stage. But it didn't help at all. Yeah, this is. Hammerheart's just being so dominant in this matchup, and it's like it's. It definitely is showing the skill difference between these two guys. Yeah, exactly. Oh my oh, god. Oh, here we Hammerheart's go. even having time to charge. I know. Like, Horby is uh, oh, playing a okay. little scared. I think. Yeah, I mean, I can't blame him. Yeah, like I can't this is the either. this is the dude that taught you this matchup, and it's like yeah, you, you know you have. You know, go out and beat him. Hammerheart is terrifying. He, I played Hammerheart in a crew battle. I was not happy no. about it. He's a terrifying person to play against, but then it's just like you look at him online and you go and onto his so Twitter. He's so consistent, too. That's, that's, that's the really, the also that's scary That's what thing. makes him so good at crews. It's like if you struggle just to get one stock and you can't, there's no easy gimps on Samus. There's nothing like that. Oh and God. Hammerheart only losing one stock to Horby. Did he, mm. how many stocks did Horby have? Three. I mean, like to be fair, you know, going with like a little bit of a disadvantage. This is but, like, crazy. Hammerheart's like MVP out to a huge lead they, right at the very beginning. They are. Let's see if they can keep it up, though. MVP I, is just doing extremely well so far. But yeah. are they sending out their anchors early? Are they sending out all of their all of you know their really good players? Kind of like weakening the field for yeah, some of exactly. their lesser. Some of like the lesser players on their team. Now, now here's the thing. Mm. What's the worst matchup for Samus? Pika. What's the worst matchup for Samus? Is it Pika though? I would say it's Pika. I mean, there's Pika. I, I'm pretty sure. Um, I, w I might throw in. Uh, I might throw in Yoshi. Ooh, Yoshi. Might try and just uh, I don't clean know. up these stocks real quick. Like at least with, with if uh, Samus versus Yoshi, Samus cannot be, and that's like frame one. It's basically her version of the parry, but yeah. just worse. Um, I would say, like, against Samus, it's either going to be Falcon or Pika. Interesting. And so, you know, who is New York going to send out? Yeah, they have to They have to make uh, real strides in, yeah. this, in, this, in this particular matchup. If they, if they allow them to get any more of a lead here, it's, it's, looking, it's, looking, uh, it's it looking, looking grim. It's looking rough. It's almost a 10-stock lead at this point. And, like, that's, you know, it's... They're ahead by two characters, that's and that's, two and that's huge. Yeah. That's yeah. huge. Oh, no, they are sending in number one in New York. Number one in the New man, York? The myth, the legend, Pyro. <laughs> oh, they are sending in this legend of Jeez. New York. They're, they're going for the full length. They are. We are going to see a low-tier exhibition here. Yo. This, I, is, this is everybody hype at home. I'm hype. Oh, my God. This is going to be hyped. great. It's like you can kind of tell like who's Fyro going because uh, based on his controller. So it's like I know he has the Hori for Ness and then the GameCube for Link, and he's br he's busting out the GameCube. Okay. He he's gonna be. Okay. We are gonna see some excellent bomb play, some mm. good boomerangs. We're gonna see a nice mm. long projectile mm. game, a good camp fest. Mm. You know. No. You think Ooh. it's a camp fest, but it's not. It's actually mm. just insane zoning the whole time. Ooh. I mean, you're right. It's not You're right. camping. You're right. It's not camping. It's just How mind about? games. I want to get my marshmallows, though. I want to get my campfires. <laughs> yeah. Where is my campfire song song? We got, we got the fire. 
We got the fire. We don't need no camp, though. Ooh. We'll just set the whole forest ablaze with our bombs and our blasters. Oh, it's, oh, it's kind of terrifying, though, because if you have to... Both these characters have tether grabs, right? But if Samus lands one... It's a lot worse for Link. Yeah. It's, it, but you can't really count on either character landing their grab. It's more just going to be like, you know, lots of careful spacing from both players. And uh, what I'm interested to see is what moves do you use to cancel out the boomerang? How do you deal with the boomerang? Do you dash attack it? Do you bear it? I think it's more of a fair because then it's like you have that lasting hitbox, like several hitboxes coming out all at once. Yeah. That, but, I mean, it's, it's going to be like a bit Maybe hard. Maybe he just shoots a, a light charge shot at it. But like the thing, the thing with especially just with uh, Link in general is that you're supposed to be throwing out projectiles constantly. Yeah. And so, you know, if if Fyro can throw out all of their projectiles constantly, and put pressure on Hammerheart, it's going to be mad hard yeah. for Hammerheart to make any sort of moves. Absolutely. And then on top of that, you know, Link has all of his projectiles. He has and like I mean, he has the projectiles, but he has the sword. Yeah. So and Samus is gonna have a hard time getting in. Mm -hmm. But once Samus gets in, though, yeah. her punish game is going to be like especially on that down air off stage. You don't need much. It doesn't take much to to get Link in a bad spot. Mm. Like those that down air off stage bombs. It's it's look, look at this movement. It's if so Fire gets off stage, it's going to be very bad. It's so crispy. Look at the pivot up tilts. You, pivot I, I love the fast fall up airs. Like those are just like. Mm. Yeah, I know. It's so beautiful. No C stick either. That's just you have to tilt the stick just right. Yeah, just right. You have to get like, in just the good zone. And the thing exactly. is, Iro can just do that. He's he's been playing you know Link so long that he knows what's what to do. Like he knows what's up. Yeah. And it's like, it's like it's it's and gonna be. And also, uh, so so Hammerheart is down one stock. Fire only has to take three. But I think I think he that's not his goal. I think his goal is to bring it back to even. Yeah. I mean, Fyro is definitely going to want to, like, do his best to just yeah. even up this match. Because if Fyro can take down Hammerheart, that's, you know, Atlantic North is still down, like, a character. Like, they, they still yeah. need to, like, bring it back. Exactly. But, like, you know, Fyro was actually Corby doing did it. so much work. But, like, oh, my God. Fyro's just doing a really good job just keeping Hammerheart away. Nice. Oh, and the first hit. Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, no. This is oh. the punish game. Who? This is hard. Who? Oh my okay. god, just barely he escaping. got out of it. But, oh my god, he's just throwing bomb after bomb after bomb. Oh, no, this oh, is not looking this good. Is it. Goodbye. Oh, no. He I dropped a little a bit low with that boomerang, but even still, the edge guard was going to be free if he didn't throw it. Yeah, Fyro down a stock. This is, uh, this is like, oh, the, no. this is the lead MVP wants and needs, but like, Fyro needs to bring it back. That up air is just... It's so, so good, deadly. It's yeah. going to be so deadly versus Samus because Samus is heavy and it works especially well at these low percents to comboing those heavy characters. Exactly. And it's going to work especially good versus Samus because she's so floaty and it's like it's going to give a lot, of, a lot of opportunities that um, Fyro normally isn't going to get versus like Samus. But oh my god. Wow. Uh, such such tight oh. spacing from these players. I know. And Fyro getting a couple. He's, get, he's been getting a couple Whoa. good pokes. He got some damage, but yeah. no confirmation. Yeah, he's gonna be looking to get a bomb to a to a neutral air to like literally anything. Oh, oh no! <gasps> oh. Not able to follow up. But Sam is too heavy. He's he's, he's working on it. I I, I believe nice in New York. Nice roll out of that position. If he if he had gotten hit there, it would have been <gasps> curtains. Oh no! Oh my God, dude. Fyro is insane on his positioning and his patience. He couldn't he couldn't keep up that shield pressure on Hammerheart at the ledge, and so he just lets it go. And it's like that's kind of that's a hard situation to recognize. Yeah. To recognize that like, hey, you know, I'm overextending. Let me just take it back a bit. But, oh, oh, that was oh that was a really bad nair, but he's keeping he's got some sort oh. of pressure going. And that down air, that's gonna be very useful for killing Samus off the side, which is probably what Hammerheart's gonna be, or uh, what Fyro, excuse me, is gonna be looking for. He wants to kill Samus off the side, because there's no way oh, Link can no. kill vertically. Link oh, doesn't want to kill nice vertically. Nice forward smash. Oh my god. Canceling the, the projectile and hitting the opponent. It's 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 just nice so, too good. But Fyro needs. Oh, this is oh, bad. No. Ooh. Hammerheart Fair just bringing dare. it back. Get out of here. This is this is not looking good for our boys in New York. 
Yeah, it's not. The hometown it's heroes. Never hopeless though. Hammer hard jabbing the boomerang. That 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 little that little low key taunt. Ooh, nice. No. Oh, he, I thought he would have been able to get the up up tilt, but no. nothing doing. Oh, that's oh, a no. hit. Oh. The push off. And uh, reading the jump, the down air. Here we go. All right, Fire gain. Uh, okay. Ooh, that that's that's scary. Oh, no. oh. oh my god. So I sorry. thought for sure that was oh a bad situation. I, I know, and it's like Fyro brought it back. It's like actually insane. The the weird like spacing and the yeah. the weird way Fyro plays. I I haven't seen anything linked like this at all. Like, Is he gonna roll? He oh does no. roll. Oh, two rolls, no. too many. Three. Oh, but he's st he's he gets the still triple. alive. Yeah, this is off stage is not somewhere. Oh, the jabs, that's good. Brutal. Oh, no. just try to space it so that way he wouldn't get hit by the bomb. That bomb, I think, would have killed him. He needed to sweet spot, and he didn't get it. But now Fyro, Hammerheart is at his is at the mercy. And nice. Uh, all right. Yeah, down Fyro. the bomb, down to down to boomerang. But Fyro can bring it back. Fyro can do this. Yeah, no, Fyro can, and he needs to too. Yeah. He, it, it, it still doesn't even win his team back counter pick advantage, but, but it brings the momentum. Yeah, it to brings the momentum closer to neutral. Yeah, because right now the momentum is heavily in favor of MVP. Yeah, and like uh, throughout this whole match, you know, Hammerheart has been like kind of, uh, you know, uh, sniping away at Fyro, but Fyro has been also just like kind of like, uh, you Ooh, know, this working is bad. On. Oh no, this is really bad. The down air trap, dash attack. The, the what? Traps. Oh, oh no. Yo, the nerves on this boy. That was crazy. You might think that that's 74 just 74%. Like, oh my god. Nice the nerves, force, man. Literally, both of these players have nerves of steel. Oh no, this is not looking good. Nice yeah. bear. Okay. Getting Fire. him off. Fire is like starting to make to make Hammerheart come to him. You know, play Fire's game instead of, you know, play Fi uh, Hammerheart's game. And starting to work. Oh, this is bad. Oh, no. This is real. Oh, oh the, this the is bomb. fine. This is fine, actually. Yeah, no, the bomb oh, saved Fire. No, is but that that's it? gonna be it. Oh, oh my lord. Fyro unable to win back oh, counter pick no. advantage for his team. Low. And that is that three characters down or just that's, two characters? That's four. That's four characters down for New York. And Low is coming in. And Low, only... the Fox, Falcon, uh, uh, Luigi. Yeah, we'll uh, see what he decides Mario. to play. He he's a very strong player, though. I think I think he could he could bring back this by himself. I, I, honestly, he could definitely do it. If he goes Fox, Hammerheart's gonna have a rough time. But like, also the thing is that Low also loves to go to the to the Pennsylvania tournaments at the lab. Oh, okay. Low, Low and Hammerheart have played. Mm. Uh, Low and KD3 have played. Mm. Low is like the the inside guy. He is the double agent. So you're saying he knows the New matchup. York. He knows the matchup. He knows the players. And that's going to be extremely important when you have region versus region. All right, let's and, see how much of a difference that makes. And Low's Fox. This thing, I just want to say, is a thing of beauty. Low's Fox mm -hmm. is just extremely good. Mm -hmm. He knows how to play this character, and he knows how to play it well. He yeah. wa he wants to be like the best Fox in the world, just to spite everyone who says, <laughs> especially Kara Kurobi, who says, you know, Fox is a low tier character. Fox is terrible. <laughs> I mean, you know, Fox isn't low tier, but like Fox is kind of poopy, especially yeah. when it comes to recovery. There's Fox just certain matchups that Fox has a really tough time with. This is not one of them, though. Oh no, not a, not in the slightest. Yeah, like, Samus cannot range Fox. Fox's projectiles are just too good, and Low is gonna go at it. Low can just nice camping. I'm liking the I'm liking the patient play from Low right oh, now. No. Oh, he got hit though. Yeah, Low yeah. isn't the type of uh, player to use a bunch of lasers, but like, but like Low can play aggressive, but I'm he can also play defensive. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping he shoots a lot of lasers. It's important in this. <gasps> oh, oh the God. forward air to grab. That's the kind of trap. Oh, the Nair yeah, gets him off stage again. Oh, no, oh, that's it. Oh, Hammerheart with an amazing yo, edge guard right yo, there. Hammerheart is like cleaning up that stock, and Low is oh, still no. bad on the back foot. Yeah. Low Hammerheart. hasn't gotten his uh, a good hit in in a while. Yeah, but like, it's just because Hammerheart is just so like good at this matchup, even though it's yeah. the losing matchup for Samus. It, you, if you look at um, uh, Hammerheart's match versus the protagonist at Let's Go, it's extremely dominant in favor of Hammerheart, and it's like it's just because he's been playing for so long, he knows how yeah. to play with Samus, who you know isn't the best character, but like he knows how to make it work. 
Now this is a really rough situation for for Samus uh, in the corner. Oh, off stage, no double jump. That's it. it is. Good game. And Low finally cleans up the last stock of Hammerheart, which is so relieving. It's so important for New York to yeah. get that. Oh no, are we getting cheers? Are we getting cheers? Yeah, we're we're. Uh, this is going to be a really um, interesting thing if. Lo can take a, uh, another character by himself. I think that we're in business. Ooh. I think we could see a really close crew battle here. I think we can. It's, it's gonna be. It's, it's gonna come down to fantastic play on New York's part, though. There's no way to, for it to happen otherwise. But, oh God. Oh no, are they gonna send in Yobo? Or is Yobo, Yobo gonna go out for smoke? Or the Brody, one of the Brody Ooh. brothers. The Brody bros. Yeah, maybe maybe they'll do the DK thing. The brawling Brodies. Yeah, try try and get the repeat of Boss Battle 3 with the DK comeback. They could do it. They what? could. I know. Yeah, ju dude, Dark Horse is positively terrifying. That DK his, his Donkey so Kong strong. is ridiculous. Yeah. Like, especially if it comes in like uh, Dark Horse versus Spongy. And it's like Spongy's playing Kirby, and it's like, I imagine if that's clearly in the favor of Donkey Kong, but like, he just I mean, dominates it. Like, absolutely just yeah. dominates Spongy's Kirby. It's so and, crazy. And the thing is, you know, who's Logan gonna have to face, is the thing. Cause like, he yeah, could face- Yeah, MVP's could face. got such a deep roster. Yeah, that's, that's- And Fyro's off the table already. I, number one New York, gone. Damn, got, got just pwned by Hammerheart, so but, rough. But this is this is the net play god low though, like ne the the net play beast of the northeast. Yeah, yeah. If there is anyone that could possibly just like take it down, it would be low. But oh, who we got stepping oh, in? Wait, who we got stepping in? Is, is it this, Raz? This is it might be Raz. I, I can't see. Yeah. It is Raz. Oh, we're getting Yoshi. All right, all right. So this is a very this interesting is a matchup. Match. I or no, we're getting Fox? the ditto. All right, so this is an interesting matchup. You're gonna see uh, a lot of shines. You're gonna see yeah, off stage shines and like the stocks will just melt away. It's like the complete opposite of the Link matchup, the Link uh, Samus matchup, where yes, they both have projectiles, but they're not really useful. They just throw him out every once in a while. I mean, but like the thing with Raz is that he's normally a Yoshi main, so I, th I think this is definitely in the favor of Lo. This is the time yeah. for Lo to like start to bring, but like it's bring such back a, in favor. It's such a uh, uh, tough matchup. It's such a it up and down. And there it is. Nice and dash attack. Raz is off stage, is, and yeah. Lo getting the edge guard. Just oh, oh my God, the reverse DI. DI. That's oh, but incredible. He continues the edge guard situation. That, Raz that recovery getting back. was really good, but that that top was terrible. Yeah. <laughs> but low clean up the stock. Yeah, and this is this the thirty-seven percent doesn't really matter. So this is the start yeah. that they needed. It, it's uh, who's off oh, he could have just oh no, no. he could have just shined him. No, oh, no, and then oh he oh. missed the shine. Raz dropped. A little bit of nerves, a little bit of matchup unfamiliarity. Oh, I, th I think he brought little a little bit, bit of his mom's spaghetti oh. over here to New York. And now low off, off stage. You don't want to be that guy. And missing, missing the ledge guard yet again. Both of these guys nice haven't jam. been on top of their ledge, their ledge guards recently. But low, oh, yeah, he's gonna recover. Oh. There's nothing you could do at that point. But you know, low tacking on a bit of percent on Taraz. Yeah, which they're is gonna both be extremely so useful. I mean, can you blame them? No. Oh my I God, cannot. Raz missing the tech. And, and that's it, it for that yeah. edge guard. A safe Simple there. stuff. Low, keeping getting two stocks, not losing one. He's on his yeah. he's on his way to doing what we said he has to do. Yeah, L low low is the person that could do this though. That's the thing. There it the is. Shine. That dash attack is really brutal. It puts them exactly where they don't want to be. Fox's recovery only works well if you're above the stage and far away, and he was neither. I know. And low low's playing actually actually very aggressively with his laser. Nice. He's got that crap. His go, his go in. Oh. Now, got to the ledge though. Raz, Raz, a smart recovery, I would good, say. Good like bear. doing his best to get back in. I don't know what was up that shine though, but like Low wants to clean up this stock now. He nice wants to get Raz dance. out of here. Oh no, oh, we he missed misses. it. Oh no, 
This is so this weird. Is the, I oh keep expecting God. Low to capitalize a little better because he's getting these tech chase situations and not doing anything about them. And that dash attack, that's it. Yeah, that's, that's it for the stock. All right, Raz, putting away his spaghetti back into the pockets. Low is going, Low needs the set guard throw. right now. Goes up. Yeah, that's it. And that's it. Good Double. game. And all right, Raz taken out. One yeah. stock. Okay. But the thing is, okay, that MVP, was something he needed. It was something. It was something both both sides needed. MVP wants to like, dr like slowly like leech the life out of uh, low. Yeah. They want to like leech the life out of New York and kind of like drain it. They can afford to do it. They're way ahead at this point. Yeah, it's but, true. But now they they have. They have Fox gone, and normally, you know, Fox is accounted for Jigglypuff. Yeah. And, you know, Jigglypuff's already been gone from New York. And so it's like, what character are they going to use against Low? I mean, I wouldn't send out, like, a Falcon. Like, I if would. they send. I, no, they're sending out Brody. What is that? What is that? What does that mean? They're, oh, Brody? Brody. Oh, no. The Bark LD the Slayer. The LD Slayer, mm. top eight master. You can't say that around. this is a matchup that that Josh Brody does not know. All this is around. one of his this is one of his specialty matches. Yeah, it's like, true. This this is like his matchup. He's got to know this inside and out. I mean, he's had to play LD how long? A like it's ridiculous years. like how much he's played LD. And low low is just like Well, low just has the low face. He's just like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, this is bark. this is my life now. This is what I I knew this was going to happen. I've done this, been here many mm -hmm. times. And the thing is, Low needs to win this. Like, like MVP they're is just still doing not, a, They're still not that far behind if they lose this match. Yeah, but the thing is, is that like, you know, he's got to do. He's got to make a dent, though. Absolutely. And the thing is, Low Low would be the kind of guy to make a dent. Um, okay. Like, actually, Low's doing pretty well right now. Just like trying to like oh. get tack on percent onto Brody, and oh my God, he's Low is playing so safe because yeah, he knows if he's off stage. To. Bark knows, or Bro Brody knows exactly how to take Fox down. Exactly, exactly what to do. This is the one of those offside situations. But at the same time, and the up B, and the up air. If Low lands a jab right now, it could just be the stock. It's that is going to be the stock. If he can get even an up smash, Randy up smash in neutral. But the thing is, is he going to get it? I don't think Brody is going to be like the type of person that's going to like let Low into the. Uh, have that kind of situation. Yeah, his it's hands. not about that though. You always get it. Mm. And an offstage situation. And a smart recovery by Brody. Even an up this air at this point will do it. Mm. Can he do it? Can low? Can low? Oh, oh! oh. Ooh, Yo, that the up beat out of it. That was so tight. Yeah, that must have been like a. That was so close to the ground. It must have been like frame perfect or something. That's, that's it. it. Goodbye. In low, All right, the so venue erupting for low. Yeah, low keeping it respectable. Mm -hmm. If he gets another one, then if then that's another one, that's exactly what what uh, uh Atl the Atlantic North U.S. region, the exactly. ANS region, if you will. That's what they need. But and oh no, Brody taking it back, taking it back. Nope, that's it. GG low. That is it. Now the down down five characters. Right, they are down. They're down five characters, oh, and and uh, MVP is this the down man? This is the myth. This is the legend. Oh, this is Calcium, aka Simon, this, aka Strand. This could Diggity be a preview. Dog. This could be a preview. Oh, this is Calcium. Okay. No, this, no. This is this is Strand Diggity Dog. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, this could be. This is a top eight preview of tomorrow, mm. guys. You better take your notes. You better watch, pay very close attention. We're going to get some multi-set conditioning right here. If they have to play again tomorrow, you know they're going to be thinking about today. And you know what? This is this is going to be stranded. This is going to be his Falcon. I I, I can tell. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, stranded's Falcon. Oh, stranded's Yoshi is pretty brutal too. Uh, I mean, absolutely. Was it? He took a uh, fire blaster to game like to game ten, ten. I believe. Yeah. At Gauntlet Six. Yeah. Uh, last year, and it's. It's pretty serious. Yeah. It's true. His, his Yoshi is no joke. Like, Stranded's Yoshi is very, very good. And the thing is, but the thing is, Brody also has a ton of experience versus Yoshi. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, well, for I the, for the longest time, Brody's been uh, fighting against Fire Blaster. They, they have had a very true. intense rivalry. And I, I, mean, I still think that uh, it's a very Stranded's got the edge here. I think he has a chance of making a real comeback for yeah. for. Just, just look at that movement. US. 
that movement from Stranded, like, so you know, th there is a region why, like, there, there's a reason why the Koroshio clan is so good, and it's like, Stranded's just giving, just showing everyone what's up, yeah. because they all play so much. They all, like, have, like, amazing so movement, like, practice. all of, like, all that shit. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh my god, it's just beautiful. Like, exactly. Like, most players aren't going to get to that, that the, the kind of level of movement that Stranded has. And the yeah. thing is, it, it's... <laughs> this is gonna be uh, extremely. This is gonna be so good. I'm looking forward to it myself. Mm. So, it's a stranded Yoshi. It's he switches sides just to confuse everybody. He he wants he wants he wants Yoshi to face the screen. He knows what's <laughs> up. All right. Ooh. Oh, oh no. that, on the offensive. Is... Oh, this, the is, this is really good big for for Pikachu. Nope, mm. never mind. The thing the thing is with Stranded, situation. like did he use his double jump? I think I heard that. Oh, oh my okay, God. he gets to the ledge. <gasps> now that you Yo, can just Brody, hedgehog. Brody is so dominant. Damn, zero percent. Mm. Less less I remind you, CEO of Dreamland, Brody over Wizrobe. Whoa. You know, Brody is not is, is not you know a slouch in this matchup. And the thing is you know. Yoshi isn't Stranded's main character. You know, Stranded's a, fa a Falcon uh, Pika, and the thing is, I don't agree with this this decision from uh, from Anus to have uh, oh, Stranded no! play Yoshi. Oh, and that's it! Mm. Wow, Stranded already down two stocks. And the He's thing gotta is, make something big happen right now. Oh, uh, tried. That. Oh, that, that was that was just that flub. Yeah, I know. It was, it was, it was oh close, God. but you know. This isn't um, this isn't horseshoes. This isn't hand grenades. And, and uh, straight, straight it's flubbing a little bit. Oh, and the, great anti-air with that up tilt. Uh, you you can see the player camp from stranded, and he is not he, he is he is somewhat frustrated. Yeah. And it's like and that's it's, oh my god. It's like one of those things. Brody not even losing a single stock yet. No. New York full of frauds? Possibly. New York? But, but oh no, there, you know, there, there there goes Yoshi. Getting tons of damage on him. Oh my gosh, and not letting him breathe. Not even oh, taking nice a stock bear. yet. Like, Brody has been so dominant Here we in go. this matchup. And a pair. All right, All stranded, right stranded. Taking a stock. Finally. This, he's down to his last stock. If a comeback needs, if a comeback has to happen, Stranded needs it right now. Taking out MV, one of MVP's best <gasps> players. Oh, never mind. Never mind. GG's. Dude, oh, no. Brody mm. showing dominance in that matchup, just like you were saying. It's brutal. Every time he used his double jump, it was gone. Mm. Boom. And the thing is, you don't see like what happened in Wizrobe. That's a totally different. It was a totally different strategy yeah. of, of Brody versus Wizrobe and Brody versus Stranded. And the thing is, you know, and now it you know, it's over the tipping point. Yeah. Oh my gosh. New York is down to their last five characters. Or last four, maybe. What can he do? It's, it's gonna. It's looking kind of brutal. Yeah. Who else? Who they? Who else do they have? They have Mario, Luigi, Pika, Falcon. Okay. Okay. To be fair, those are really good. I, I, I do believe. I do believe that Caesar is playing. Oh. So the thing is, well, not he's not playing now, but like they he have could him. Be. That I would mean, be like, a that really be, good matchup. I mean, the second they send out like Puff, you know, that's gonna be it. Like. You know, Caesar is no slouch with like either of the Mario brothers. He yeah. could be playing literally either one of them, and it's like perfectly fine. Both but, of them are just. But it's but the thing is, you're you're talking about the class of players that MVP has left. He has to still be, bar he has to finish up Josh Brody, and then he's got to beat the other Brody brother, Dark Horse, and then he's got to beat Shears. Shears. Oh. And I don't know who else MVP has, but I can't imagine yeah. that that. Like, it's not an easy thing to just beat those three players, it let alone whoever else is left. It definitely is not uh, a very good time. It's not going to be a good time yeah. for our boys in New York. I think Koro is stepping up. But they wait, have to no, send him up. Oh, Karo. Kor Koro already played. Kiro. Yeah, Karo. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Jo Jojo Speziali. Ooh. The, you know, I I, I mean, honestly, uh, Caro is my favorite season of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> uh, he, he's like the ninth season where Jojo starts to learn Smash. No, never mind. We are getting Caesar. Oh, boy. Fancy the, the, hat and all. The Mario 
The, the, the Mario Master. Yeah, this is exciting. The, the Luigi, I don't know, I don't know anything. What that do goes you think? What do you think? Ooh, Mario or Luigi? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna I'm, say Luigi. I'm, I'm gonna say Luigi too. Mm. But it could be either, and not only that, but like, both of oh them no. have decent We're matchups. Going Mario. We, we, right. we got, we got the brown Mario. This is a, this is a pretty decent matchup. I, I can, uh, I can see Caesar not losing a stock mm. here if he plays extremely well. And the thing is, Caesar definitely can. He has all of the practice versus Caro and Stranded, yeah. two top. Mario players. Yeah. So, like, if there is one person who could definitely take down two of Brody's socks without losing one of his own, it's Caesar. Yeah, exactly. Is absolutely Caesar. And and it would be a huge like boon to his team if he were able to do that. Because I don't think uh, any of the characters that are left in general have like favorable matchups against Mario. Mm. So they'd have to go like they might even go Link or something just to throw away Link or something. Oh yeah, no, they they, they definitely have uh, characters to spare. Um, it's literally just they have like all the same characters except. Uh, Baltimore has Luigi and Puff. And Link. Mm. Oh, yeah. Or Yoshi, Puff, and Link. And it's... Nice. It's, it's looking... I, I mean, like, it's actually very surprising how dominant uh, MVP has been, like, over the course of this crew battle. Oh, but, nice! Oh, no, Caesar. L looking to get something started. Oh, but instead he gets counterattacked. Shut down by Brody! Ooh. And the thing is... Okay, guess... Oh, oh my no. god, dude. Brody going playing so solid right now. Oh my god. Caesar went for the down B stall to, to run out of Pika's invincibility, but Brody just went down instead and just knocked him away. Yeah, exactly. Oh no. And this is. Alright. Getting a little bit more percent. damage. The ta th that tagging on percent is like super important because if Mario gets that up Here smash, we go. Or, he gets, or if Caesar gets a back throw, you know, that can be it. Yeah. Those are Mario's best kill moves. Caesar firing back. Now, mm. now uh, if he can make this happen. We, uh, we're back in there. He needs to cross the Rubicon of Josh Brody. Oh! He needs to... Oh, my God. He ended up facing the wrong way. Oh, my God. That dash dance right there, like, right when he landed. That was that was so scary. And so What's he's going to be do? looking to, to get the scoop of the da of the up air. Oh, no. Oh, that up air was so bad. Oh, oh no. no. He landed. He got. He has the double jump. Nice. He lands on stage. On stage. And that's it. Damn, bro. Brody... Taking two stocks of Caesars already. Looking like the best player in the room right now. Honestly. honestly. Okay. Okay. We are. Oh my god, the read. That's a great One edge guard. Read. All right. Great edge guard. It yeah. should just be a hog. Oh, or that. In the back air. Oh my uh, god. Sent the wrong way, though. The r One wrong read, and Brody oh. gets back on stage. It right. wasn't even necessarily a wrong read. He just got the wrong hitbox. He did. And now Caesar needs to not only get back on stage. But like, also, ju just also take the stock. He needs to get that one good up air, the Brody one good up smash, on the so one good back throw. Right now. And the thing is, Mario is a character that you can't edge, that you have to edge guard very, oh, very carefully. Brody has been edge guarding Caesar damn. three stocks out of, out of the four, all right, and he's all been right, edge guarding right. so well. Stopped the bleeding. Finally, we keep saying, oh, you know. Finally, New York has stopped the bleed. They're gonna go in. And the thing <laughs> is, we've been wrong most of the time. New York has been s just so crushingly good. And oh, so, so it's such a rough position mm. New York finds themselves in. But who's gonna go next? I, that's that's the thing, and that's that's like the one, one of the my favorite questions to ask in the crew battle. Yeah. Who's going next? Yeah, exactly. Because, because, because Mario has a lot of like really uh, demoralizing edge guards on a lot of characters. Mm. So you wouldn't want to pick something like Donkey Kong. You wouldn't want to pick something like uh, Jigglypuff. But the thing is, is that actually New York has taken out the, the two best characters. They took out Kirby and they took out Pika, who don't really have that of much of an advantage, that have like a huge advantage on Mario. Yeah, so this is actually kind and of so the same spot is, they put him in. Yeah, but the thing is, Caesar is also at one stop. Two. I oh, thought two. he was at two. I thought he was at one. No, he's at one. Uh, he is at one. So the thing is, who who are they going to send in to clean up the... Oh, they're sending in Bill Bacon, 420. Ooh. 
Puff main. Puff main, not too bad. Yeah, he's I, pretty I think, good. But he's definitely not. He's not Brody level. He's nah, not Ashir's level. He's, he's not, not even Caesar level. I w I would say that he is definitely not Caesar level. I mean, this is the type of matchup that is, you could that you could foreseeably mm. uh, see. A four stock. You could yeah. foreseeably see Caesar taking all these and not losing his last one. But the thing is, also, they're just, Bill Bacon is looking to take that one stock. Yeah. He, if, they want to take out Caesar. They want to be able to be like, all right, you know, we have this Mario down. We feel safe sending in, uh, sending in Dark. We feel safe sending in DK or yeah. Falcon or, or Link yeah, even. Exactly. They they want to. You know, Baltimore wants to be able to send in. Oh, they're, this they're, combo. Oh, oh, no. That's, oh, no. Bill oh. Bacon messing up. Yo. Oh, Caesar. Caesar getting the start that he needs. He's only at 12%. Caesar can definitely make a four stock happen. But the thing is, it's going to have to be very, very careful. And the thing is. Oh, that on, drill. Nice up B to get out of it. But, but, but the one thing that Bill Bacon is always going to be threatening in this matchup rest yeah one frame if caesar just drops it one place if bill bacon gets one good read that's gonna be it for caesar yeah exactly and so caesar wants to end this asap yeah he wants not to end this him any chances oh no the, the more hits <gasps> Bill bacon has the more the, the more damage bill bacon gets on the more just advantage it lends to mvp yeah the closer the mm. closer he comes to killing getting this last caesar stock that is going to be so heavy. It's it's going to be very rough for Caesar, and we just don't know. Oh, nice patience mm. from both players. Yeah, Caesar. Both of them actually are playing extremely well. Um, nice Bill there. Bacon, especially not being on the caliber, on, on that like very high caliber, but just still doing incredibly well. Yeah, exactly. Like surprising, like you know, shouts to you, Bill. Like and when you're watching this, like you know, you did good. Oh, oh that, no, back that back throw is so huge. And and now Caesar's in a bad position. <gasps> Oh, no, no, Bill Bacon went all in. He, he overextended. He wanted it so badly that he paid his life. Oh no, Caesar down the double jump. He only has that. He only has the uppy now. Oh no, Bill Bacon losing it. Oh no, oh no, again. Oh, nice no. combo. In the forward air. Seventy-two percent. Caesar, you know, he's looking pretty good in this game. And the yeah. back air is gonna seal it. Yeah. Okay, and Caesar. Bill last Bacon hit needs for that. both players, basically. Bill Bacon needs that last hit. Caesar needs this last stock from from Bill Bacon. <gasps> nice trade. Oh no! And Bill, if Bill Bacon gets that one read, you know, you know, that's it. Caesar's gone. Yeah, exactly. Like MVP, MVP is like. All he needs is that back throw one more time. All he needs. And oh, and Caesar gains something. The combo started. starts. Nothing doing. And that that oh, oh that no, back that's throw. It? Oh! That's it. Caesar is gone. Bill Bacon taking out one sock. He, you, you, you saw it like that, that big like sigh of relief. Yeah, I'm sure that all of MVP feels mm. that way. It's like MVP getting that nice, I don't know, bleeding. Yeah. Just it's... just starting to bleed New York dry. Exactly. And, and New York down to Jimmy Joe is mm. he, No, Jimmy Joe's stepping away. Oh no. New York New York is conferencing. Yeah, you, you they have one stock of Bill Bacon. So yeah. the thing is, you don't want to. You want to send in somebody who's hard to counterpick. Yeah. You want to send in somebody who's strong against the characters that MVP has left. Wait, I don't know who this guy is. Or oh, oh, that, oh, that guy is disposable. Sure. Ooh. So you could send in like your Nest player or something. You could send in Jimmy Joe, for example. Ooh, they're sending in Jimmy, the Jimmy of Joes, the Jimmiest of those Joes. Yeah, we'll see what happens here. It's going to be a really interesting matchup. It's 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 Pika Puff, and you know what? Oh, never mind. You know, we get all excited. It's like someone starts moving to, to the setup. It's just like, <laughs> oh, man, they're going to go. And then we just and all the, get like, oh. The commentator. Sorry, guys. Commentator's curse. It's like super commentator's curse. <laughs> it's all right, I think, I, know what, I think I know what New curse. York's weakness is. They keep leaving their phones at the setup. First it was, <laughs> first it was uh, stranded. Now it was Caesar. Who is going to oh, leave their phone silly. next? Okay, okay. Are we getting that? Okay, we're actually getting Jimmy Joe. The Hori. All right. Jimmy Joe, a solid Pika. Yeah, dude, he made um, it to D2. I think, no, he's in D1 he today. Is, he's sitting in D1. Top yeah. 16. I, I would not be surprised to and so, to see him not lose a single stock. Wait. Luigi. 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 They're saving Pikachu for Koro. Yeah. For Caro. Caro, yeah. yeah. 
Ah, but this now, this is, is not a bad matchup for either character. I think it's pretty even. It definitely is, I would say, even. Um, Puff definitely wins with neutral, but Luigi's punish game is actually unreal. It's pretty bonkers. It's like, you get Puff top platform at 30% with an upbeat, GG's, that's your stock with Puff. Like, you like, saw how it. bad uh, Mario's was. This is going to be even worse. I, I would argue, yes. I, I mean, I do believe Jimmy Joe could be sitting on... He just needs to take that one stock. Yeah. Just that one stock that Bill Bacon has. And Bill Bacon is going to be looking to maximize this one stock as much as possible. Yeah, He absolutely. wants to be able to... I mean, he does have a little bit of Luigi practice. He, we played in D4, and... I mean, granted, he didn't do too well against my Luigi, but... Um, He's, he's going to be looking to, like, yeah, at least take a stock. At least keep New York on the defensive. Yeah, exactly. Also, I don't I don't know why they call it, like, Atlantic North U.S. when it's literally just New York. <laughs> <laughs> like, Dark Horse, change it up. It's just because they, they want to use that acronym. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's true. I mean, they do, they do hate us because they ain't us. They hate us because they aren't us. They, they do, they are, <laughs> they indeed are not us. But, okay. So, Bill we got, Bacon. We got the billest of Bacons. Jim, we Jimmy got the Jimmiest of Joes. And, and Jimmy Joe is going to be looking for, like, that up, that up air. The nice, it's a nice, it's a nice carry move. Yeah, it's Basically, a nice combo opener. Oh, no. This, and I think, ooh. uh, I think the Jigglypuff's combo game on, on, uh, Luigi's kind of weak just because uh, it's hard Luigi. to combo. Yeah. 40. Oh, oh the 69 here. kill, too. And no. Jimmy Joe cleans up that stock with nothing lost. It's, that it's makes such it an early kill, though. It's so great. And yeah. so, oh, This is a no. great sign. Oh, no. They're sending in GT. The G of T. I don't know. He, I don't he know. Is, all right. So, GT, a solid, solid Baltimore Pikachu. Oh, the question shit. is, what is it? I think he also has a Samus. So I, I think. Ooh. Link. All right. So the, I oh, think Link. this is kind of like the, both of these players, like uh, alternate low tier characters. Mm. It'll be interesting to see. Like it'll be a contrast from the previous matches where everybody was playing their mains. Absolutely. And and if you notice the stock count, New York has slowly but surely been, you know. Uh, they, shortening the gap. Yeah, they, 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 they went they're from back to where they were at the beginning of the match where they lost a bunch of stocks to Horby. Yeah. Or not Horby, uh, KD3. Yeah. But, and, and so it's, it's basically up to Jimmy Joe to get yeah. the, that momentum back onto the side of New York. Um, and is GT going to be able to do it? I mean, the thing is, GT is like a very, fan, is a very, very good player. Yeah. He's very patient, and that's the thing you need when you're playing as Link. You yeah. want to be... You want to be able to play lame. You want to be able to like throw bombs and throw boomerangs and look for like a one and be able to like sit back for that and wait for that one opening that you want. Especially in this matchup where you know Luigi doesn't have great approach options, so it's all yeah. about cornering him and trying to keep the the uh, majority of the stage space in your favor. And you don't want to you don't want to approach when you don't have the advantage. Absolutely. But like the thing is with both of these players is that oh, they both have experience against these characters. Jimmy Joe versus Fyro, and then GT versus Shears. Yeah. Like, <laughs> they both, both got to be familiar with it. And both of those players are very good at these characters. Oh! And so, and so GT is looking, Strikes definitely first. looking to keep this. Yeah, he's striking first and definitely looking to keep this lead up. But oh, I think that's that going to be it. Yeah. No, oh. he didn't get the edge hog. Oh, no. I mean... Actually, GT, I'm very surprised at GT's bomb play. It's, it's, it's been very, very, yeah. very good. Yeah, in general, his link is very mm. well put together. Like, you know, his link is not a character you hear about, but, like, I have been I, I'm being pleasantly surprised right now. Exactly. By, by, like, the skill of not just GT, but, like, also Jimmy Joe. Both of these guys, you know, they play different characters, but, like... I was very surprised to see him not go for the Edgehog, though. Yeah. Oh, no, that Oh, he dash caught attack. the boomerang. That boomer, he, uh, Link had a had a confirm, but because he wasn't in the middle of the move when the boomerang came back to him, he got stuck catching it, so he couldn't do anything. Oh my God, that that fireball from Jimmy Joe, keeping GT at bay, but oh, oh no, nice. that upy. Now G, now Jimmy Joe on the defensive for the recovery, it's it's Ooh. it's looking pretty bad. Oh, oh no, he's in the no, one he's spot. No, he's got that spacing. Oh my god, that that's one so oh, good spacing. Yo. And GT has been using the ma he's been using Link's sword. He's been using all of those bombs and project and boomerangs, just keeping 
Jimmy Joe away. And that's what you have to you do this, in this matchup. This looks so bad for Luigi. Because it is. It's it's such a bad matchup, I would argue. And it's like, I, I would argue possibly one of the worst matchups in the game. But yeah, just because Lu Luigi has very little approach options, and Link is like made to make sure that nobody can get in on him yeah, with all his disjoints and his projectiles. And GT has just been so good at keeping Jimmy Joe away. <gasps> oh, the back that throw, throw that's will it. do it. All right. Oh no, the bomb? No, uh, no, of course. He, he was all right. GT was hoping to get the reverse bomb so he could, so he get blasted towards the stage, maybe get like another up B and maybe make it oh, on. That's oh no. Jimmy Joe, nice he got in. Forward throw. That's this is Down what you don't air, want. That's it. That's it. Goodbye. Jimmy Joe, evening it up. Bringing it back. Really quick. Trying to keep it even. That's trying the thing. to keep it respectable. That's the thing. If 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 GT lets Jimmy Joe in, you know, even once, that could be the stock. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, no. oh, oh nice dare. It's like you but like the thing is you also just don't know when it he's gonna to get be, in. It needs to be a very patient play from both players right now. And, and I mean, you could say, oh, but what about Luigi's fireball? You know, Luigi also has a projectile, but the thing is, it's such a predict, like a slow, Ooh. predictable projectile. GT can move around it, e even with Link, a very, fairly slow character. Yeah. It's it's gonna be kind and of it's hard. Canceled. Oh, here we go. Ooh. He applied a little bit of pressure, but wasn't he able to follow it up. Oh no. That's it. Oh, no grab. The shield no jump. Grab. The shield, GT using that, the, like the one or two frames of invincibility from shield jump extremely well avoiding that the grab from from uh, Jimmy Joe and now oh having gosh. Jimmy Joe on the receiving end this is such um, a close is, match it is it's it's honestly either way at this point GT like uh, has Dude, has such a good been job. showing me like he knows this character I I definitely oh, no. underestimated him but I mean, we can't keep we can't keep Jimmy oh, Joe nice out. Nice forward throw. That's, that's that might be it. Hedgehog. There it is. Oh oh no! Oh, yo, get wrecked! Yo, that 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 first bomb recovery. Oh my GT's god! GT's like, oh no, that's just practice. And then like, oh my god! It just happened to explode at just the right time. He pulled it out in anticipation of that moment. I know. And like, and, and another weird aspect of this matchup. Oh, there Luigi it is. kills vertically. Okay. The thing is, Link is a heavy. Yeah. Link isn't going to die vertically very often. Nah. And so when you take a character that's not going to die vertically versus a character that kills vertically extremely well. Oh, this could be, be it. Dare? No. Oh, oh no. this could be it Back again. Back throw? <gasps> Grab ledge? Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, get up no. attack. That wasn't the right move. Oh, no. That's... Oh, my God. Oh, he missed his Z cancel. They're both missing Z cancels. They're both flubbing a little bit. Missing Every, edge guards. Everyone has this little bit of spaghetti. And they're both they, they're, they're both looking for that kill. That up air is going to kill. Oh, that forward air going Damn. to kill. Him. GT oh my God. maintaining that lead for his team so well. Playing it's, so solidly that game. And oh my god. It's you you just have to wonder, you know, what's New York gonna do? Yeah. And we have Do they have some grandmaster plan here or are we, they just gonna keep we, they just gotta keep like trying? They gotta get. They gotta get some sort of grip they on this matchup. They have to do something. Up. They got. They got N64 shirt dude. I don't know who this guy is. I don't know either. I don't know. I feel like he even lost the glasses and like. I think. I think DK. he's using a lowered uh, start button. He too, is using so a lowered start button. Oh, oh this Papa is Papa Squat. Squat. I heard about this guy. He's really good. Yeah, the DK master. It's like you think of New York DKs. The first thing that comes to mind, I would think, is Big Beaver, and Papa Squat. Yeah, Papa um, Squad. Time to show him, show us what he's worth. And the thing is, DK is going to have a lot better time against GT and Link's projectiles, because especially he has that upbeat, the yeah. invincible helicopter arms. Yeah, it's so good. Where where DK literally turns into an attack helicopter. It's so good. And we're we're going to be looking forward to where uh, Papa Squad is going to be able to just uh, take. Papa Squad's going to just want to take that one stock off of uh, GT. Super quick. Yeah, they okay. gotta make it happen like right now. He can't allow. Absol he like, can't even allow him to set up like a bomb squad. He's mm -hmm. gotta. He's gotta get this grab early and seal it before he has any chance of making it scary. Yeah, but Papa Squat uh, has a little bit of thing to to make Link approach the neutral V, the punch. He can just charge it up, but like once it's charged though, it's like Link has really has no reason to approach. Like if GT wants to like prevent. Papa Squat from using that charge punch, you know? Oh, he oh. dropped down in a bad spot. Oh, oh no. that. 
Oh that my god. That was almost really good it's for like, Papa like Squat, but he I got know. right back to the top platform. If, if Papa Squat gets like a solid back throw, that is going to be it for GT. Like, exactly. A, a back throw at the right place at the right time. Mm. But the thing is, Link, Link Sword is so big, he can definitely just. G GT can, might be able to just, you know, throw out a random sword move and then just, you know, take yeah. away Papa Squat's. Oh no. Oh, <gasps> nice there. Bear. Bear? Bear? Oh, he's getting lots of damage. The forward air. Oh, that was a bad dash attack. But if he gets a, if he gets yep, anything yeah. right now, if he gets a back mm. throw or even a back air. All right, that oh wasn't that was set knockback. Oh, he's he's looking at to get us a good combo. Oh, All right, there we go, baby. Papa Squat, trying to keep New York in it, closing it out. But now, now New York is now on the defensive. Who? Who is MVP gonna send in next? I uh, I don't know. I think I think honestly, you just send in a Falcon, clean up the stocks real quick. Maybe. But and the then thing, but the thing is, if they send in a Falcon, that, that that's a fairly even matchup for for DK. Like it's, yeah. it's surprisingly even because DK can just gim Falcon left and right. And if there's someone I, I would expect to gim Falcon, you know, pop a squat. Yeah. But okay, no, we are sending apparition. Apparition, the, the ambassador. He's uh, he's got a, a good Mario, a good Yoshi, and a good uh. Mm. Oh shoot, who else did he play? Just I think he fairly, played. He just has a fairly decent cast. Yeah, and so. So I think we might see the Mar Mario. I don't think MVP mm. has used Mario yet. They have not. And I think that's a pretty good matchup because the drills off stage are just so brutal. Wait, are they are they doing DK dittos? <gasps> Yo, the ditto. What is Dark Oh wait, no, Ma oh no, that's okay. Mario. Okay, it is the Mario. I just heard DK and it's just like, ooh, no. Nope. But okay, we have the classic 1983 matchup of Mario versus Donkey Kong. <laughs> so, so the thing is, Papa Squat's going to want down on the top and throw barrels down on the other platforms. <laughs> <laughs> Apparition's going to want to just like you know approach. No, except and, the and other thing the is it's Mario throwing fireballs down mm -hmm. on on DK and DK's got to find a way in. The roles have been reversed. And the thing is, Papa Squat's been doing, doing a fairly good job just counter camping. Oh, oh my God! Yeah, it's, I, it's I, I'm liking the way that both of these players are playing neutral right now. Yeah, it's very uh, delicate. Yeah, both of them are, are feeling the the occasion. They're feeling the pressure of the situation that they find their teams in right now. But, but Papa Squat's, I think, is in a is a harder situation. Yeah, because you Ooh, know you're nice down, you're down eight stocks now. You know you need to like. You need to make moves. You need to like, uh, you need to take down Baltimore. Oh, and and apparition there with that down B. The down yeah. B from Mario and Luigi, both frame one. Really good parries if you get them on that first hit. Yeah. If, if you don't, you know, they, you're, it's you're pretty just punishable. Like, it's really yeah, scary. You're, you're out in the open for a while. You know, DK can just, DK can just do whatever. And uh, oh, oh no. the, he, he was in the middle of the helicopter arms. He was about to start him up. Oh my God! And that great parry. spacing. The, the back throw should kill. And Papa Squat. Taking a stock up on Apparition. Yeah. Oh my god, that's the second really good down uh, up B that uh, Papa Squat's been doing. Yeah. Like, you know, I haven't heard, oh, that, I think that was, I think Pop, uh, Papa Squat's two for two, two, uh, two for four for uh, his up -bees. And he's Wow, my, yo, he, mm. he drifted all the way in. That, that was an insane normally, angle. Normally DKs like space a little bit further out just so that way they can outspace whatever you're doing. But I think he read that Apparition was going to go out there, so he like just faded in the whole time. Nice back throw. Yeah. And now the pressure's on Apparition. If if Papa Squad can get like a decent like a decent hit, a random guess, a nice setup, that's it. That DK punch is going to kill. Yeah, like, absolutely. Like he's he's going to be able to take it down. Oh no. Oh, the anti air. The da the dab from Apparition taking away the stock from Papa Squad. It's this is still doable. Yeah, absolutely. New York by no means is out, but like that charge punch right there, just charging up, winding forcing up his arm. Apparition to to react, because like yeah. that's what you have to do. You have to force your punch to react and react to it. Oh, but, here we oh, go. No. Off stage Finally. Situation. Oh, that that was got that, that kill. Mm. That was trying that was to weird. maintain his stock lead. Okay. Oh, but this is a really bad situation. Oh, he just drifts in high and manages to get back to st not really oh, no. back to stage. Apparition down Keeping smash. Papa we'll Squat do it. Across the whole stage. 
doesn't and, even touch the ground. And now it's tied up on screen, but in uh, the actual crew crew battle, it's 22 to 14. Uh, and that's in just stocks. And the thing is, that's you know, it's Papa Squat and then a Ness Falcon and Pika. But actually, the thing is, in the, in the greater scheme of this crew battle, oh, do you think maybe Raichu is on the oh. anus side? New York, uh, Raichu is technically. Is He's technically at, New York. Yeah. We New York could has, see uh, this is not over by any stretch of the no. imagination. New York has been keeping a lot. The, they're, they're two heavy hitters, Raichu and Caro, yeah. on the sidelines. And honestly, I don't see the the really bad matchups for Raichu out there anymore. I it, mean, like, Raichu could yeah. do a lot of damage. R both Raichu and Caro. And now if, now if Papa Squat lands this grab, he can get the kill. Oh, no. Pop, Papa Squat's been able to just keep Apparition away a lot, very well, like just incredibly well. And it, oh. it's, it's gonna be nice. What can he do? Oh, oh, and he gets that, he gets that down B. Oh my God! Nice dash dance. All right, Papa Squat. He go, he's gonna want to end this. Yeah, he wants yeah. to end this now. He can't, he can't let the match go on for too long. If he takes too much fireball damage, it's going to be an easy kill. It's, it's going to be it's going to be kind of hard. It's going to be a Zangief kind of situation. Yeah. You know, can't approach. High, high. You know, close to death. Oh no, he missed that Z cancel. Apparition taking advantage with tech. that down B. Nice tech. And using the push off parry. Just using the push off. <gasps> oh! Wow, he capitalized Whoa. on that missed Z cancel like a monster, One like a missed. beast. One missed Z cancel, and Papa Squat. Sending apparition into the to the fourth dimension. Did he just bring his team back into it? I think, I he, think just he did. Brought his team back into it by himself. MVP's lead is shrinking away so bad. Yeah, but the thing is, because oh no, they're sending in. Oh, is, is, is Dave going in? Is Yobo? Is, is Shears going to go in? Is Yobo like going in? Who this knows? Is, who knows? Thing is, who else do they have? Okay, so MVP has Shears. They have Yobo Light. Yep, Shears is Luigi. Yobo Light's Yoshi. Uh, Dark Horse. Dark like, Horse uh, it would probably be their Donkey Kong. It's it's going to be a very, very tough situation. Yeah. For for both teams, New York it seems was playing the long game. They have yeah. been doing extremely well. Yeah. And David Shears, David, David, it seems David Shears is uh, stepping up for the plate. He, I think he might be. Or, or, he, or he's just doing Shears stuff. Yo. No, no, no. We're having Shears. We're getting the Mario Brothers matchup. Oh, my God. Or, we, no, we're getting DK versus uh, Luigi. Like Lu This is Luigi's revenge right now. Yeah, exactly. He's like, you took down my brother. Prepare to die. And the, th the thing is, though, Shears, possibly the best Luigi on the East Coast. Yeah, possibly. No, possibly. I don't know. Cesar. Yeah. But, um, oh, yeah, yeah, he's really good, and it's going to be a really uphill battle for Papa Squat. If Papa Squat takes a couple stocks here, I'd say he'd done his job. If, but if we Papa all know doing your job is not enough. Doing your job is never enough in a crew battle. You have to go above and beyond the call of duty. Exactly. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I Shears could clean it up real quick, or Papa Squat could make it a real battle. We'll see. I don't see. know. I think Papa Squat... Is the type of guy that is going to go, you know, the, the, the surprise He's going to go pick. deep. He's going to go deep. I think he can go deep. I believe in the young Papa Squat. I know. It's it's so, it's going to be entertaining. I'm, I can't I, wait. I am like, I am, I have goosebumps right now. <laughs> I am wearing a sweater in this like, probably like 80 degree place. I am like, I, I am chilled. <laughs> I am like. I'm I know. Like, I know. This is gonna this be crew so battle good. is so cool. New York is New York gonna pull out the comeback? If they do, they, they are they are legends. They are gods. I know, I know. It's like we're all riding on these last four players. I mean, and New York has the some really great anchors. Karo Kuropi, Raichu, like. Yeah, I know. And I, and, 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 and but they still have oh yeah, and Kelvin Height. But they oh, still have even Dark Rattar. Horse. Mm. They still have Dark Horse. They oh. still have Yobo Light. It's it's gonna be an uphill battle for sure. But like, yeah, if there's any reason we're gonna I see some really good it, matches in this last in these last legs of this uh, it's, it's gonna be, crew battle. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, I, absolutely. I am. I for one am incredibly excited. Oh 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 oh! Is, is Shears not going. The MVP switcheroo. 
And it's not it? Blue Go either. I think that's Is that um, Sebula. Sebula. Sebula's Ness. Mm. Oh, they 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 want to bleed out Papa Squat. They want to force. Yeah, they don't want to. They don't want to send in one of their good players to get counterpicked. Yeah, New York, or uh, MVP wants to to force New York to commit. They want them to make. All right, who are you gonna send out? Are you gonna send out Rachu? Are you gonna send out Caro? Who are you gonna send out next? New York, come on. Where where are you at? They they want New York. If if Papa Squat can beat Sebula, the onus will be on MVP. Yeah, absolutely. This this is Papa Squat's time to shine. This is do or die for for the for the good Papa. Exactly. For, if for he Daddy gets Squats. this, if he gets this, it's uh, for all intents and purposes, it's even. Oh no. And the thing is. You know, Ness is a fairly decent character versus DK. Yeah. It's oh, no. A, it's a scary matchup. Oh, no. oh here we go. Yeah, that's they're not the mu not much you could do there. Sebula almost took Papa Squat's for a ride there with the dare. But the thing is, Papa Squat. Oh, oh he missed his grab. He was too close to Ness to get that grab. Oh, and oh, the no, fade out it. doesn't help. And in this matchup especially, Grabbing is going to be super important. For it's gonna both players. Yeah, it's going to dictate who's, who's going off stage, oh. who's going to be on the defensive from who's down airs. And, oh my god. Because if... Oh, he grabbed him out of the up B again. Oh no. The back Sebula air to dare. Him down. Sebula. Oh my god. Cleaning it house right now. A quick, quick two socks gone from Papa Squat. Yeah, that was less than a minute. Yeah. New York. New York is now on the defensive. Yeah. They, they they need to make oh no. We got the JoJo. Oh, that's it. Th this is this Yo. is this is the beginning of the Where end. Where is your enemies? This is the beginning of the end. Sono Chino Sadame. <laughs> we got JoJo. Everybody in chat, spam your uh spam your JoJo's. Damn, bro. This is going to be so good. I I'm fully expecting Ten stocks. Ooh, ten stocks. That's that's I mean, my that's my call. It's what he needs to do, though. That's what that's what they need Carol Kuropi to do. Sebula now his only job. And they is saved to stall out. They saved Pikachu for him. Mm. Or he might go Falcon. That's the thing. Mm. No nope, oh, okay. Pikachu. Okay, that's I was about to say because like because Carol's been playing a lot of Falcon recently. Like he's been he's been training up to like get Falcon to be like a pretty decent secondary. Yeah. But now, oh my God! What? It, it's it's they're practicing. It's, okay. Uh, hand warmers. He's he's practicing his jerseys. <laughs> yeah, it's it's important because uh, you know Pikachu. I I might be an unpopular opinion, but I think the quick attack is one of the most technical moves in the game. It absolutely Highest, is highest skill cap move in the game. And uh, so, if you, and it's, but it's also like one of the riskiest moves in the game, mm. where you know you mess up once, you die. Of course, it's enough beat. No, but like also, I think it's one of the, it's definitely one of the safest moves in the game. Those twenty odd frames of invincibility you get at the start are just so critically important to Pikachu's defensive game. Absolutely, they're just so important to like how Pikachu plays. Yeah, and I mean, you may see okay three characters versus five, but like the thing is, the tools that Carol Kuropi has are absolutely incredible yeah you're talking about the a world-class player here what oh this oh you want me to put it on oh. and so what is going we, on we are, oh no all right Karo Kuropi is going to be looking for like really good nest gimps and there it is Karo taking the, taking the first stock so now Five, he's five percent done with what he wants to do. And, oh, oh no, this is just look how. Oh no, Sebula taking going on the offensive. Yeah, he's getting some damage in here. And the thing is, Sebula is going to want to be able to take as many socks <gasps> as he can. Oh no, ends up off stage. This is exactly what you where you don't want to be. And oh like the tail attack and the bear. Yeah, this is a uh, that mega kick is just so good. As soon as he oh ended up off stage, I was like, "This is he's basically forfeiting his stock," because with a at a at this level of play, you can't. Um, P Ness doesn't really have any recovery options that are really tricky enough to do it, to come back with, mm -hmm. as long as your opponent keeps you below the stage. I know, and the thing is, especially Ness 
has a fairly good, like, decent anti-air repertoire. He has the up tilt, he ha and he has up air, both moves which are incredibly disjointed. Actually, Ness has a lot of, like, really good destroying moves. Yeah. And Sebul's gonna want to get, like, a couple of those on Karo, because if he gets a couple of those on Karo Kuropi, especially at the percentage <gasps> Karo's at... Whoa, oh my that god, was that was really so risky. Close. Oh, but no. apparently he knew how that dare worked, and All he right. knew it wasn't going to out-prioritize him. All right. Kiro Looking for a four-stock. Yeah. He wants that four-stock. He, New York needs that four-stock. Exactly. If Sebiel gets a grab, that's going to be it. Oh, no. Nice Off grab. Stage again. <gasps> the mega kick. <gasps> nice. And that's it. That's GG. It. Sebula goes down, doesn't take a single stock of Kiro's. Kiro. Kiro is doing... Did a fine job there. Oh no! Are, oh, we, getting, Yobo. are we getting the Yobo? Yobo grabbing his controller. The young He's Yobo. stepping in. All the right. Yoshi versus Pikachu, Yo known as one of the mm. even matchups that Pikachu has. One of the deadliest ways to kill a Pikachu. Forward tilt fair. Mm. It's it's gonna be fun. This is gonna be fairly interesting. Pikachu has a lot of yeah. fun ways in which he can give Yoshi. Yobo, and Yobo, you know, nobody expects him to win this match. But every stock he takes off is another, like, stock that, like it's, it's huge. It doesn't. But, like, but New York has been, like, has been uh, shortening that gap. Yeah. 20, 20 to 12 to now 12 to 16. Yeah. And now it's, it's only just a matter of time, I think, before New York is going to take the lead. Because, yeah. Especially because this is, like... This is one of their star players right here. This yeah, is this like, is the best. This is one of the best players in the world, probably top five. And now we're going in. Dark, if, if Dark Horse would be ever so. Oh no, we're we're uh, we're they're still warmest. doing warm ups. Yeah. Yeah. Look at look at the faces of both of them. They're they're focused. Wait, I think we need to stop. I think Yobo needs to go outside for a cigarette. What, what, no, no, that's that's the thing he does. Like whenever he gets <laughs> called for a match, he just like goes out like, oh, yo, dude, I need a smoke. <laughs> I, mean, I like, didn't. I was not aware. Oh. It's like you know, wait, how we wait? How do we know that's Yobolite and not Hammerheart dressed as Yobolite? Don't do. Have this you to ever me. seen both of them in the same room? <laughs> I, they, we, I, I can see Hammerheart. We're good. <laughs> but how do you know that's Yobolite dressed as Hammerheart? <laughs> Don't do this to me, man. <laughs> I have enough trouble recognizing him as it is. <laughs> I don't need you confusing me even more. All right, so we're going in for realsies. Up. Oh. All right. Here so. we go. So Karo wants wants to shorten that lead, and Yobo like wanting to keep that the lead of uh, MVP as wide as possible. Absolutely, because re remember after this. We, it, you might see two, three characters left for A A N U S, but those characters are pl being played by some of the best players in the world. Absolutely, and, and something in the, uh, very important in this matchup is Yoshi's double jump and yeah. that, the armor that it has. But Karo is is very good about the armor. He yeah. knows how to use uh, Pika's uh, forward air, especially to just uh, hit, to just rack on that damage onto Yobo Light, onto exactly. Yoshi, and, and then. And when Yobo lights at this like very high percentage, that that double jump is gonna be less and less effective. Yeah, because it's gonna break oh. the armor right here, and that's it. There it is. Yobo light throwing that move, getting rid of the armor, and Karo back back airing through it. Yeah, exactly. And, mm. and Kiro has only taken. Uh, never mind. He's taken yeah. plenty of percent now. And yeah, the it, thing with the thing with Yoshi though is that Yoshi's combo game is extremely good. Yeah, so, it's so true. We can expect Yobo. I, I think it's reasonable to expect uh, Yobo to take a few stocks. At least one. If he doesn't oh, take yeah. any stocks, that, it's that's, actually that's the looking. Shock. That's it, the shocker of the century. That's like, you know, the true return of Carol the Great. Yeah, and the and the death of MVP's chances. I know, because right now MVP are are the champions of uh, they they are like the absolute champions of, of crew battles. Yeah, exactly. Like, they. they they dominated moms, the masters of Midwest Smash. And actually, right now, Caro. Yeah, Caro. He's only taken like a couple of hits. He's only that one combo oh, in the no. second stock. Okay, that's oh, here break. we go. That's that's important. Forward air? No, forward. Oh, oh my no. God, the flop! Oh! oh! Everyone, everyone is popping off. Oh my! Oh my God! God. I'm so sorry. That was users. the biggest flub oh ever. Oh no! I think he's out of a jump. Oh, no, he's not. But 
But now back here is going to break that double jump armor for, for Yobolite. Fair. Nothing doing. Oh, he gets Yobolite. him off stage again. Yobolite went for that up smash. Oh, down B oh, from no. too far away. A big flub from Yobolite. He's not feeling himself. Are we going to call him flubs? Flubble? Flubolite? The Flubolite? Flubolite? We'll see. I don't know. If he doesn't get the stock, like, then we get the right to call yeah. him whatever we want. Oh, he ate oh, him. Oh, no. All right. Oh, oh my God. nice, nice Yo. egg. That was like perfectly timed. Beautiful he gets egg the to back star. Here. That was just a beautiful combination from Yobo right there. Exactly. That's exactly. What oh, he, he used needed. his double jump. Good smash. Good wow. awareness from Caro of Pikachu's moveset. Caro Karopi is it, just. That's what you expect from a top five player. That's what you expect. It honestly is. It's like, not, oh no, you see Dark Horse. He's getting up from behind the stream. Yeah, that's He's right. making his way downtown. Walking fast, faces past. Don't do this to me. Don't finish He's it. He's DK bound. Don't do it. All right, so we're going to get a DK. Oh, but see, the thing is, he doesn't have like a, he's got to play the Donkey Kong. Wait, what if, he, what, if he, what if he's going, what if he's going Falcon? Oh, what if he does steal Falcon? He does, he's, he is wearing the Falcon shirt. Yeah. I think, honestly, that. He the, could literally, like, he could go, there is a myriad of choices. Dark Horse has such a good you repertoire know, of characters. Was, it was okay. a huge gamble to oh. send in, to send in, uh, what's his name, Brody, so early, because yeah. now Kiro is ra is rampaging, and there's not a lot that uh, there's not a lot that. But the thing you, is, you look, MVP you look, can do about it. But like you look at the character spread now, I mean, granted they're even in socks, but you have Falcon versus Pika, fairly even matchup. Yeah. But like if you take those out. You have Falcon and Ness on one side, and DK and Luigi on the other. Yeah. And that Ness is like one of the best Nesses ever in the like possibly to pick up the game. Oh, oh no. that's it. The thing is, the thing is. Goodbye. Uh, oh no, he he oh actually no. had a little bit more distance than I thought he did. Yeah, Caro has has spent a bunch of time gimping uh, Falcon these past couple days over netplay. Uh, he's he's been messing up me. He's been messing up Dogs Johnson, the number one player in Indiana over netplay. And so the thing is. Carol is very, very well acquainted with this matchup yeah. right now. And the thing is, Dark Horse also is like, no, he just when it comes intercepted to him perfectly. Oh, missing. And the missing edge hog. Wow. Oh Kiro evening up the stock counts for the crews. And the thing is, that, that, that rogue F smash from Dark Horse didn't work. Oh my god, getting the last hit of forward air. Yeah, by and, Dark Horse. and now Pikachu's out of danger percent. Oh my god. D All the openings that... that jab grad is, is like ridiculous. It's true. Oh, uh, here we go. That Finally, bear? Dark Horse Ooh. stealing a stock, trying to keep it the lead no matter how minor. Dark Horse is putting the biggest dent in Karo that we have seen thus far. He's been dominating this neutral. <gasps> oh no. Combo? Combo. Nice throw. Oh, Karo. And that's, that's it. it. Goodbye. Reverse, re reversal of fortune for Dark Horse. And the thing nice. is, this is the one. This is the time they need Dark Horse to clutch it out. Yeah. They, they, MVP needs this. They need this lead right now. Oh, that crouch was so sick. And that. Oh no. That's oh it. my God. Oh, no, that gimp. Kiro. That, that's what Kiro wants. That's what. That's what you need in this matchup. All right, Dark Horse grabbing right out of the uppy. What the hell? Okay. Oh, another Order. opening. Again, Order. the same Order. thing again. And no. no. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. my God. This edge guarding. This, this edge guarding Pika's up B. It's Dark Horse ain't no slouch. Oh, no. Oh, no, he, he missed it. it. Oh, wait, that nair, that nair was super key. That nair was so important. Mm, that push off was ridiculous. Oh, my God. The patience. Oh, he just runs in and grabs him, and that should be... That's yeah. it. Oh my God. Kiro disappointed oh, no. himself. He wanted to bring it down even further. Now. And we have the second of the Bang Bros. Luigi stepping in. Cheers. Cheers has, Six. I've seen him get some pretty sick combos on Pikachu today, but will they work on a man th of this caliber? I think absolutely. Like once you get to Shears' level or. <laughs> All right, no, that's complimenting Cheers. I can't do that. Come on. If, if we you have, get, if to, you we get have good. to treat him like anybody else. If you get good, you know, there comes a point where it's like, you know, you get good at against all the characters. Yeah. And, uh... All right. And Here Shears we is, go. Shears has faced his fair share of Pikas. He, he's taking... He's been playing with, like, he's... 
not only played Pika himself, yeah. but he also plays against uh, players like GT and MHJ, who are all extremely good as Pikachu. Exactly. But the thing is, the, the, there's a huge difference between the Baltimore Pika and, and the Karo Karo And the world-class Pika. Mm. The, the, the balls to the wall extreme, uh, the balls to the wall extremely aggressive Baltimore Pikachu. Oh no, he's gonna be looking. Oh, oh such gosh. great delays from Shears right there. I know. Making sure he la he like fakes out his landing. He doesn't even use his up B until his opponent has committed to a move. Oh, that was and amazing that timing smash. on that forward smash. He canceled oh, no. the fireball and, and see, got the hit. You see Shears' face. You, you kind of see how he's kind of like being a little bit, a uh, little, little bit uh, am antsy. He's so like he focused. He, what he needs is a really good situation. He wants, <gasps> he he wants that up all. He All he needs, three frames at this point. Pikachu is so light, he only needs th the three frames for the up Yeah, if he lands a dragon punch, it's over. And that's oh! it. Oh! Shears Speaking only the losing devil. one. All right, so now it's nine, now it's seven to eight. Still. It's such a, it's such a close match, holy crap. But okay. We, they have, there's Falcon and Ness versus Luigi and DK. And right. They're sending in Reptar. Reptar, the, the, the Captain Falcon player. The Kaiju for, killer. Does that mean, does that mean Raichu's going to seal it up for Raychu them? Raichu is anchoring for New York. Who's, I wonder who the mm. DK player is that, that, that if they take is receiving. It's not Dark Horse, then who else could it be? Who else from Maryland, Virginia, and Pennsylvania plays Donkey Kong? Because I, I don't know I'm any. I'm drawing a blank. Either way, it's all going to come down. It doesn't matter if Shears doesn't lose this match. And Reptar, Reptar wants to be able to, to not just bleed Shears dry, but take Shears down. Yeah. This matchup is, is also so, somewhat hard for uh, Luigi to play against. But that, you know, that didn't stop Shears with Pika. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's not going to stop Shears now. And uh, Reptar is uh, one, of those, one of those dudes who just loves playing Falcon. Like, uh, like he's like... He's like New York's best Falcon right now. Uh, now that Zeppelin's gone, and uh, nice he's gonna be there. looking. He's gonna be looking to make some marks. And yeah. it's not like Reptar's bad against low tiers. Reptar has had a ton of experience versus these versus like Luigi's, Ness's, Links. Doesn't matter. Like Reptar does have experience. <gasps> I, I, no, no. This is this is a bad. That was situation. a greedy forward smash. Oh, right, that's it. Going Mario Light. Wow. Those are the kinds of situations that Shears is going to want to go for. Yeah. He's going to want to edge guard uh, Reptar as much as he can. He wants to get. He wants. He wants that cheese. He wants Fair. this sweet, sweet cheese. Nothing doing. And now Shears has is that like an awkward. Uh, yeah. What, it's what? kind of hard to confirm uh, into a kill right now. Oh no. And he's and off stage it. again. Reptar down two stocks and he hasn't even taken one of Shears. Are we seeing the difference in skill level of the players right now? I mean, or is or does Shears just know the matchup that well? I think Shears definitely knows the matchup. He's Shears has played against a lot more Falcons, I would guess, than Reptar has played against Luigi's. Yeah. Uh, and that's the thing definitely is, true. You there's there's no Whoa, follow -ups. that was so greedy. Alright, Reptar evening it up. Yeah. But like Reptar is at like such like a disadvantage just experience wise. And like especially when Shears gets up to like a really high percentage, because what what can he do? Yeah, you with get floaty character, hit. he's a floaty character, but he's got a lot of weight to him too. He's got kind of like the Samus. Oh, oh no. wow, the one frame move breaks him out of it. But the thing is, also Shears just has like a lot better, better defensive tools than Falcon has, and so nice. Reptar is going to be looking to just end Shears' stocks as quickly as. Oh no! Oh no! Wow, the Randy F smash. F smash, yeah. Oh no, okay. Goes people, for the safe. People in the, safe. in the room are yelling instructions at Reptar. They're, they're really <laughs> nervous for him. Shears cleaning up stocks. Reptar did with, his, uh, with his back against the wall. Can he make something happen he here? He needs to. This is, this is the time where Reptar, you got to rise and shine, buddy. You got to take down uh, the mom master of Baltimore. The, the Luigi. Ooh, nice bear. The Luigi playing Lucifer of Smash, David Shears. And, uh, oh no. Oh, that was poorly Those timed up, Smash. <gasps> oh no, Shears. That's looking it. To take goodbye. It. Oh. No. Oh yeah, my God. Goodbye.
And Reptar goes down to him. He only takes one stock off of Shears. Shears is popping off right now. All right. Now the question is. Who is it, Ray Chu? It's definitely, it's gotta be Ray Chu. Is it Ray Chu? Where is he? Where is he? Where is Ray? Ray Chu. The, we need you. We need the boy. Where, Where is, is the boy? The boy wonder, the, the psychokinetic powers, the master of, of telepathy or whatever. Oh, wait, wait, no, he's playing friendlies. Oh, okay. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, he isn't, maybe he isn't the Nessa anchor. Maybe it's somebody else. But who else? Oh, wait, no. No, he's stepping mind. up. He's stepping I was looking up. at someone else. I was looking at, oh, no, that's John John. <laughs> Come on. Sorry. That's like, that's like a stew mistake. Yo. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry. All right, so Raychu, who is... Raychu's Ray trying to make his way through the throng of people up to the setup. Through his throng of, of raving fans. Yep. To, to pick the Boy Wonder Ness and try to take out two stocks of Shears of Luigi and four stocks of the mystery Donkey Kong. All up is, to Raychu. The thing is, I think... Oh, no, not Battlefield. I, I think, though, Ray can do it. Yeah, definitely. Raychu, if there is one person that, that could take two stocks off... Cheers is Luigi, and then be whoever MVP has for DK. I think Raichu could do it because the thing especially is, especially with Ness. Yeah, you had the thing is also Ness has a counter pick to DK. Sebula, they, you, you know MVP. You know, remember? Yeah. Used, <laughs> used uh, Sebula to counter Papa Squat. And yeah, so the thing exactly. Is, did did New York set it up this way? Probably not. <laughs> but the thing is, it turned out that way. Yeah, so, so the thing is... The fit, quick fist bump, and they're right yeah. into it. Oh, he the gets an opportunity is, oh no. right off the bat. And the dare? Not quite. But a solid 77% on Luigi. Yeah, that's nothing to scoff at, especially considering the, the strength of Ness's throws. Nice usage. Oh, my God. That yo-yo yo for Raychu is a classic edge guard. And if the room pops off. Oh, it's so as exciting. You sh as they rightfully should. Oh, no. Raychu... It's impossible to get a shield those. break on, on Luigi because of how far he drifts. Oh, and wow, that DI. that DI and the whiffed up smash. Shears missing that, that F smash. Oh, he went so deep for that nair and oh he pays for it. All right, Ray, Ray just shake it off. He needs to shake it off. Yeah, exactly. He's only got three stocks left, and he's got to take two down. After this, he's he got to take down that DK. I know. But the thing is, what, oh, here what can we he go. do? He's letting Shears build ahead of steam. And Shears... Oh no. Oh my. Oh, baby. Get out of here. All right, Raychu going into the last game fairly even. If there's someone that can do. Okay, wait. Someone's, someone's coming up to bat. Is this. Oh, wait. wait is I, it, I recognize him. No? I recognize oh, no. him. Who is he? I remember. What's his oh, it's Blue Go. Oh. oh. Wait, I thought Blue Go. Wait, is Blue Go a, a Kirby? This is this is actually an uh, interesting interesting situation. So so Ness only has three stocks, mm. but this is not a great matchup for Donkey Kong. So it's gonna be like Raichu has to win by a margin, but it's definitely uh, definitely not undoable for him. Absolutely not. But the thing is, Raichu's been on a tear recently. He's he is, he is one of the new faces of Smash 64. Yeah, exactly. Actually, the face, one of the faces of Smash 64 in 2017, of the new, of the, like, the new players. Yeah, and exactly. Is, if anyone could do this, Raichu could. Yeah, Raichu could win this all. And the thing is, Raichu is, as uh, Shears has been yelling, a low-tier god. Possibly the low-tier god of Smash 64. Oh, here we go. We're getting right into it. Oh, no. That, that dare is so, oh that God. down smash is so good, but nothing doing. Yeah, Raichu is playing so safely. Oh, he oh, dropped no. down into that. Yeah, Raichu doesn't want to go in. Oh, he grabbed oh. the ledge. That was so close. Oh, Ooh. What? Yo, Blue Go, I think Blue Go is nervous. I think he's anxious. They both got to, they have both got to be nervous. Like, let's be real. You know, you're oh, the last character, grabbed. you're the anchor in this crew battle. <gasps> wow, dude, that, that oh, was no. such a good oh, side my God. PK fire. Raichu has been doing good, just getting like these nice hits and just and just leaving off. Look at you that know, perfect not putting land. On, not putting off like a lot of pressure. But the thing is, Lugo's been put, just getting like random hits, like random up airs. And oh, this is going to be it. Oh, yo, get out of here. Edge guard opportunity. 
for Raichu. And the yo-yo seals Walk the, the deal. dog. Get out of here. Oh my God. We're seeing the home run. All right. Ra Raichu down but not out. Yeah, of course. Solid, almost at 100. Oh, oh yo, God. when you land like that, you have like no landing yeah, lag. Yeah, you, per you perfect land if you land like right on the stage or a platform. The thing is, Raichu is gu has to like awkwardly get down to where Blugo is to start He's a combo. So doing it so patiently, but he didn't get back to the top platform and then oh, no. ends up off stage. Jump. Lugo's look, looking to end the stock quickly. Wow. That fastball. Oh my god. Yo, using such those a big frames. Flub. Turning around. Okay, okay. Doesn't Lugo. matter. Oh, oh no. Blugo. Bad, bad land from Blugo. Yeah, it's the awkward hit of DK where it's just like you can you fall off the ledge and then like you still like don't have your nice jump. Nice detail and you, this is going to be a full extension of this. Yep. Yeah. Easy right. stuff. Blugo, from Blugo maintaining his stock lead but only slightly. And now we have... Oh my god. Oh my god. Lugo's been just throwing out a lot of unsafe moves. Like that that oh my like that forward tilt, for example. And the thing is he's been getting away with it. Because Raichu doesn't want to approach. How did Raichu not dare there? I think I think Raichu is like honestly kind of scared to approach. I think yeah, Raichu is, is playing a little off. He's playing a little defensively, but like I you can't blame the guy. Like the thing is oh my you're gosh. playing like at such a, a, a massive disadvantage. You're, nice. you're down the stock. But well, right. Raichu has been closing this gap so effectively. It's such a close match. Already, he's taking we, four stocks. He needs to take two more. <gasps> we've come so far from like being at looking at 44 to 37, and, and now, now we're looking at two to two. And we're up airs. At, nice dare oh, grab. And, no, no, and he's goodbye. going for the yeah. Oh no! All right. Edge guard situation. That's it. Actually, he must have stolen his double jump oh, at no. some point. New York. New York is popping off. Yo, this is it. New York is, is popping off now. This is it. MVP. MVP is scared. Oh, oh, it's no. going to take us one more situation, one more edge guard. Non-biased commentary. <laughs> but, on the one, but on the other hand, Blue Go's got a huge yeah. deficit to make up. Oh, In no. this matchup, you don't have like a lot of kill options as DK. You have to rely on getting him to high percent and getting a back throw or like you saw or earlier. Yeah. And the thing is... Like, Gracio oh. has enough online experience. He knows how to get around it. And the forward throw, Wispy. Wow. Wispy showing his allegiance. Raichu. Taking it for New York. Raichu playing so solid those last oh six stocks. Taking it down. Taking all of them with four stocks of his own. Oh, I gotta legends. say, everybody in New York City crew played very well. But you have to admit, Raichu and Cairo did a lot of work for them. The two Just anchors. like Brody and Hammerheart and who KD3. started off? KD3 did for MVP. There were definitely like t um, 